Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Space Quest 2. Last time, we freed a little creature, dude, and uh, got a little further in the forest here. And he's kind of been guiding us, it looks like, so let's uh, check things out. Hello. Hmm, we seem to have an impassable chasm here. Lightly forced air, large fishermen nearby seems to lead straight down. Fisher. Fisher appears to be very deep with sheer sides. You can make out no detail as it darkens toward the bottom. Hmm. So what can we do? Well, this looks conveniently placed. Let's push log. Okay. Push tree. Hmm. Um. Climb tree. Ah, the tree's dead and seems to be free of the slick secretions of some of the others that uh, some of the others generate. You begin to shimmy your way up the snag. Look at that shimmy action. Shimmy shimmy. Oh, shimmy 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 to the brick of dawn, yeah. Okay, oof. Holy log jams, Batman, you almost ate the big one. No kidding. I knew you had to get a knock the thing down and get across. I just forgot how to do that. So there we go. And let us continue. Now what is over here? Nothing but trees. Okay. I don't think there's anything here. Oh, hello. I got that that legitimately scared me. <laughs> Yikes, you have been snared, suspended above the ground, you are unable to move freely. Huh. Okay. Um Hello? Not right now. <laughs> um, tie rope. Hmm. While the cerebral fireworks begin, capillaries begin to burst under the strain. You pass out. Once again, time passes. And then some more time passes. While unconscious, you have the strangest of dreams. You imagine that your name is Larry. You are wearing something unknown, something known as a leisure suit, apparently made of 100% synthetic materials and proven to generate large amounts of static electricity. While prowling a locale known as the Land of the Lounge, lounge Lizards, you spend your time badgering women of the area to participate in bizarre mating rituals such as... Just then consciousness begins to creep in. Uh, another promotion for a game. And yes, I do have Leisure Suit Larry. I'm not sure I will actually be playing it on this channel at any point. We'll see. <laughs> Your head begins to clear and you realize you have been imprisoned. Your captor appears to be that large oaf sitting next to the fire. Yikes. In a well-hidden clearing, it is surrounded on three sides by large smooth rock formations with brush to the north, a cage is below one of the formations. You are currently in it. In the center of the campfire, a center a campfire burns. One has to wonder about the purpose of a fire during a warm day such as this. A rope sits on one of the boulders. A large beast is nearby. I think I know what that fire is for. Uh oh. Let's get out of here. The door is locked. Rock cage. Don't have anything to do that with. Call man. The hunter seems to ignore you. Hey, don't ignore me. Sup, bro? Hunter stands and takes a long look in your direction. His face, though strange in its own right, bears an expression one might see on a freak show patron. He moves closer. Sup? Hi. Say what? Talk. Killed man. Well, I know what we're supposed to do. Use up uh, or not, you could just do that. Oh, hello. <laughs> the hunter has decided that it's a perfect day for a barbecue. As he slowly turns you over the fire, you begin to turn a beautiful golden brown. Death follows at an agonizingly long distance. That would be terrible. Luckily, I do know what to do. Spore at man. Haha! 
On impact with the ground, the spore opens and fuses dust into the air. The hunter falls to the ground paralyzed. Search man. Search the large, not to mention the uncleansed body of the hunter. You find a key which might unlock the cage. Other than that, you find only a few assorted parasites clinging to him. Alright. Lock. Cage. Lock. Cage with key. Fine. What the? Use key on lock. Okay, what the heck? Okay, I know what I did wrong. Get keys. Reach the bars and take possession of the key. Yeah, apparently, searching the body, you find the keys, but Roger doesn't think well enough to actually take them. You have to direct him to do that. Now we can unlock door. We need to do this quick. Open door. And uh, before we get out of here, we want to get this, get rope, and uh, get up before he gets up, get out before he gets up, whatever. And success. Hello. Ridge of the forest, the boundary of a sheer, is a sheer cliff at the east side of the area. From the distance, you see a landing platform, possibly the one which welcomed you to the strange, lush world. And it looks like there's a little guy leaving. Oh, hello. Drats, the Warhol's troops have tracked you down and passed sentence for your escape. Okay, let's uh, hide. Then go back up and hurry because um, I didn't save en with enough time to actually escape from them. So hurry over here. And that should do it. So we're just we're kind of back to where we were trapped before. I wonder if that hunter was also the one who trapped that little uh, creature dude. I think we saved him, otherwise he'd be uh, chow time. So what do we do now? Wow, I almost walked right off of that. Good time to save again. Get on log. Okay, tie rope to log. Climb rope. Yeah, it's a bit tricky. You actually have to go down the chasm. Okay, hello. Unless you can tell from the uh, <laughs> from all the cuts, I am saving a lot. Okay, press F6 to release grip on the rope. Or I can just climb all the way down. You reach the end of the rope. This is this has a negative effect on your resistance to the urging of gravity. <laughs> So what you want to do, get to the bottom, stop, swing, swig, swing, and hit automatically so you don't have to press any buttons, I don't believe. We have to release at the right Hopefully not get too close to that monster's jaws. Looking good. Looking good. We're gonna make it. That's quite a swing animation. Sierra. Wonder how close you can get to the creature anyway. Oh, <laughs> he's trying to grab me. Put a little save there. Uh, the, I might be a little bit too late. Yep! <laughs> he who has his ace is lost. You gave that guy one chance too many and he seized the opportunity. Not to mention you. You are consumed into quick bites. Okay, so what you want to do, wait for that third grab. Then... Let go. If timing causes you to jump when the rope is at its least helpful point, gravity back up. Crap! Boom, made it. Yeah, you have to time it just right and uh, wait until he takes that third swing at you, then let go. 
Yay! Uh, time for another save. Of course, I'm, I think I've already saved like six or seven times in this. Because it's getting dangerous. Alright. Use gem because it's dark. Or we could just walk forward, why not? But I can't see anything. Hmm. Let's see. Use gem. There we go. Take out the gem and hold it in your palm. The room is illuminated by its glow. You hear a small shriek and the sound of many footsteps moving away from you. Oh, I want to see what happens. Let me show let me see what happens. Okay, I don't think anything happens. I couldn't even uh do anything. Oh well. Just had to get past those rocks is all. I, I'm betting you just get eaten by creatures and they say something clever. Well, below your feet disappears. You tumble down through the darkness. Uh oh. Ow. That was a rather spectacular entrance. All systems seem to be intact, though. Hello. Get Jim. Hurry and get this. There we go, because you dropped it. The dwellers mumble something. The translator responds with, Follow us, Beanpole. They hurry away. At the bottom of the steep gorge, almost totally surrounded by impassable rock, there's an opening to the southeast. The walls extend up a great distance. So uh, let's follow them down. The heck? Where am I? Oh, there I am. Um, hi. Welcome to our canyon. You look to be from out of town. On behalf of all of us, I would like to thank you for saving our compadre from the hunters. <laughs> Love how it translated to compadre. You are welcome to stay in the canyon as long as you like. When you are ready to leave, simply say the word, and my assistance will show you the only way out for a being of your size. When you leave, however, we must seal the exit behind you for our own protection. Goodbye and good luck. So pretty much if you haven't gotten the stuff that you need... Well, I don't think, you, I don't think there's anything back there that you could get that you couldn't have you couldn't have gotten here without the stuff that's already back there and you already uh, know to grab the gem at the south end of the gorge bottom there are more odd rock formations here there are still more of those little pink folks so there's really nothing to do here so uh, he said say the word when I'm ready so the, the word <laughs> Literally said the word. Uh, climb down. Oh, he does it automatically as afraid he'd fall. I had to tell him to get those keys, so. Uh, use gem. Can't maneuver with the gem in your hand. Oh. Whoa, house. Well, can we hold it? Put gem in mouth. Ah, better. Not a great deal better, but better. <laughs> That's awkward. But it works. So let's go on down. Suddenly, an inhuman guttural moan echoes through the narrow caves. You're not sure which direction it came from. The only thing you do know for sure is that you've just soiled your undergarment. <laughs> oh, Roger. So we keep going this way. How do these guys get through this passage without light? Do they have light? Maybe they have more of those gems. More ladder climbing. I actually want to... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Because there is a path over here. And 
keep going. Yeah, this is kind of a maze. But I'll just show you the way so it's not all oh, frustrating. Um, I believe I know the way. Hopefully I do. Let's see, it looks like a radioactive pacifier that he's got there. Uh, I do think I lost my way. Crap. Maybe this way. I just need to find my way down. This should be it. Okay, so far so good. What's going on? Really? Am I like stuck? I'm not going anywhere. That must be a dead end. Let's keep going this way then. Hopefully this is the way. Probably should have uh, gotten better directions for this, but oh well. Let's see. Can't go left or right here. This way. It's so quiet. I don't. I don't know what to talk about right now because there's nothing to talk about. I'm just lost. But what else is new? Oh, I made it. All right. So an opportunity to stand and spare your tender knees. Crystal clear water gives off a gentle glow. In abundance, it is able to light the room. You take the glowing gem from between your aching jaws. You notice it is openly moist as you slip it into your pocket. <laughs> Alright, so we've uh, made it quite a ways in this game, but where is this tower really going to lead? Well, you're just going to have to find out next time. Let's play Space Quest 2. Thank you for watching, and have a good